G'day members. So today we have something special for you. Last week we uploaded a video that I'm not sure if you saw. If not, go click on the link below, you can see it. Basically, it was a video speaking to our members, asking them a few questions about the property market. What we wanna to do today is we wanna show our staff this video and get them to react to it. A few months back actually, we went and asked the same questions to random people in the public. So please go back and watch that as well because what we wanna have a look at is the difference between the, what the public have to say about the property market to what our members have to say. So it's quite a fun video. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get straight into it. Over to you, Jacob. G'day members. Today is Investmentor's two year anniversary. And we've got an event going. I like going. your shirt, Jacob. So we've got a bunch of members coming here to see us and we're so excited. Naturally, we thought we'll ask them a few questions and get their opinion on it. Just things in the market. So I'm excited for that. So look forward to it and let's go. Let's go. What is the first thing you think of when I say to you, the property market? A lot of potential. Money, investments. <laughs> a great way to make money. Passive income. Wealth. The value of land never depreciates, so it's, it's always something that's gonna bring you money. Value of land never depreciates. Wealth, opportunity, passive income. I mean, just those answers already. <laughs> you can just tell that like, these guys are already educated. They could even be, be mentors if you ask me. Uh, such a big contrast to you know when we asked the general public and it was all about fear it was basically the total polar opposite fear too expensive price out of the market never going to be able to get in and these guys if you look at these guys and literally um a couple of months ago or before they were educated about this their answers were the same they would have been they would have been exactly the same as um you know 99 percent of people out there you can just see the shift in the difference in their thinking about property and wealth just in a time frame of a couple of months which is you know it's com they're completely different people do you own any properties i just uh, invested in uh, one of the properties last year uh, my mom owns one yeah, yeah we own one together oh, okay. at the moment we've uh, invested through investmentor uh, so we have one property uh, i own two properties and they were bought with investmentor one of them was i think that's a fundamental difference um in reaction it's because of the experience that I think. Uh, whereas if you, you know, talk to people who are on the street that don't have any investments, they may not even have their own house. They actually haven't experienced uh, property itself. All they've experienced is living in it. All they've experienced is what they hear on the news. I think these guys, uh, when you speak to them, they're just much more attuned to uh, properties in general. Um, so they're, they're, their mindset is totally different. You can already tell what do you think about properties wealth ca passive income all of these type of words you ask a lot of people they could say expensive or you know those type of things that's such a different mind frame if you could if, if these guys didn't invest and you could probably ask them the same question without any investments they probably would have a very similar answer it's just because they've been through it um, most of these guys have you know when you ask them one two properties so I think experience counts for a lot in being able to change just the way you think, you know? So where do you see prices heading in the future? I'd say I think it has seen a slight pullback long term. It will definitely be a worthwhile investment. Definitely the property prices will continue to grow. I think they're going to be there's going to be a bit of a market stabilization over the next one and a half to two years. So there's going to be a bit of a market correction and we might see some of those exorbitant prices coming down. They're either remaining the same or there's probably still going to go up. Everyone always says that it's going to go down, but in reality, you know, it hasn't really. So the market has already reached a, a market had reached a stage where it was at the lowest, maybe just before the mm. prices went up in April this year. And by November, I think I'm going to see the prices going to be for the interest rate at least is going to be like around five to six percent very sort of educated answers uh, by saying that a lot of them are saying there's going to be a correction it's going to stabilize but what you can sense in all of them it's still a long-term view which you have to take that into property um, you don't make money overnight um, and the realization from these people is actually really good to see that they're in it for the long haul they're in it for the journey um, and they do see still that properties is a way to build wealth, but you got to be patient um, because if you start off with saying, well, the property might, property prices are probably going to stabilize or not grow, it, to a lot of people that can actually tell them, I should wait, I should just wait, right? But to them, it's 
you know, it will, it will do this, but then it will come back. You know, the minute you have those things, you look at everything differently. You look at properties, you look at the opportunities rather than the risk because you've acknowledged that this is what properties do. If you can acknowledge that, you're very self-aware about uh, properties and wealth and getting into the market and um, all of that. So it's really enlightening to see. Why do you think property prices keep going up? I would say in the in the near future, it would probably be because a lot of people would have saved a lot of money during like the COVID period. Just demand. People are coming in from overseas and population is growing, it's spreading out. You need to put people somewhere, you know? Definitely agree um, in terms of the, the future demand and, and also the government opening the floodgate for migration. And we're really confident that uh, the, the market will continue to grow in a, in a sustainable way. Yes, Jack's, Jack's correct, migration and all that. But the balance of it is, yes, you've got demand, but also I'd like to add to these guys, it's also about supply. There's just not enough properties for these people. And ultimately, that's what's happening in Australia. There's just too many buyers and just not enough properties for sale. The value of land never really continues to go down. It just probably comes back up. It's valued, revalued, and then eventually it is going to rise. Land prices will always go up no matter what. So land and gold. So, you know, that's always a good thing to invest in. And for <laughs> the people in Shabnam, which is happening due to migration, which is... What a good uh, comment. That's one of the other big reasons because everybody who, who's coming like sub, some co subcontinent like India and all, the first thing they look out is to buy a place of their own. Ajit. You know, good, great answer there, Ajit. I must say because he's right. Because when the first thing a lot of overseas migrants want to do is to buy a home, and now typically it's going to take about four to five years for them to build up a deposit. But within that four to five years, a lot of these overseas migrants are start off on pretty decent income, so they can actually get there a lot quicker um, before the four or five years. So, but he is right. A lot of people come here want to buy properties because they're coming from a a country where uh when they come to australia they want to have you know they, they start working they have a family and they want to really want to set up their foundation so the first thing you do is to buy a home so what does that mean it just adds so much more pressure to even the current people living here plus the overseas migrants who all want to buy a home so yeah it's Absolutely right. The market in Australia has already reached that low level. During the pandemic, the, it became more of the buyer's market than, than the seller's market. And eventually that trend had to follow on. So it has to compensate in some or the other way. And that's how the financial institutes have to bring their uh, interest rates up. That's how RBA will uh, evaluate the entire market. And that's how we are seeing the trend now. That's fantastic. You notice, um, especially with that last bit there, the way they answered all those questions, you can really tell that they're um, absorbing the, the, the knowledge and the education as well. People do really understand and they see um, great potential and also seeing this is something that they needed to do in terms of if they wanted to take their well-building to the next level or just making sure that in the future they're financially secure and, and, and real estate and property is one of the very secure way and proven way to do it in Australia. You know, these people were open-minded to begin with, right? And I think you've got to be open-minded. Um, I, I personally find that if you're not open-minded to this type of thing and if you're not open-minded to be maybe not correct about something and you're open-minded you open minded enough to change your opinion uh that's the thing that really separates out i think people that can actually get quite far in life versus people that can't because most successful people that i know of they don't think they're the smartest people in the world they continually think that they're not smart enough they continually think that there's always more to learn there's always something they can learn from somebody no matter who they are right um and these guys, they all came into that with that type of mentality to begin with, knowing that um, you know, they, they, they didn't have those egos or pre-notions pre, pre of what they thought was right. And I meet people all the time where they think they know everything, whereas in reality, they kind of don't, right? But they think they do. And that's the thing that holds a lot of people back. And then, of course, if you've got that foundation and then you put the education on top, that's when magic happens. That's when you get actually fantastic, fantastic results. There's no point giving education to somebody that doesn't want to be educated. And I think one thing also very pleasing to see or hear is that people understand property investing is a long-term business. 
and they also recognize the fact that there are going to be choppy rise along the way there's some you know you know a time that a property market will go up at their time that will, will stagnant for a little bit but over time the market will do or the property will do what it's supposed to do for you and that's actually really pleasing to see and that's really what we believe it is a long-term game you need to be patient at time but you need to have faith and, and believe in it as well Thank you.